the reaction between iodine and oleum. Attention, oleum can cause severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes. Iodine can cause irritations of the skin, eyes and respiratory tract and is toxic to aquatic life. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. In inorganic chemistry, elemental iodine does usually form the iodide anion in simple reactions, of which the alkali and earth alkali metal salts are colorless. Colored anions, which do not contain other elements, are only polyiodide ions that contribute to the color of a Lugol solution. For the experiment I wanted to prepare a 20% solution of sulfur trioxide and sulfuric acid, which is also called oleo. 3.5 grams of sulfur trioxide were available to which 14.7 grams of concentrated 95% sulfuric acid that have been previously cooled to 0 degrees C were added. Due to an underestimation of the influence of the water content in the acid, a mistake was done in the calculation, so the oleum that is prepared only has a concentration of 1% of sulfur trioxide, which was obviously still enough for the experiment. To get 20%, only 2.25 grams or 1.2 milliliters of sulfuric acid had to be added. Due to the sulfur trioxide dissolving pretty slow, the mixture was left to sit overnight. Then about 2 milliliters were added to a test tube. The color of the oleum is a bit off because traces of grease or even dust are charred. A higher amount of impurities could even cause it to turn black due to the carbon particles. Then a very small amount of elemental iodine was added. The tube was closed with cotton and the mixture was heated with a heat gun. At first the solution becomes olive green due to the brown color of the iodine and a blue greenish color, then it changes completely to the latter. The following reaction takes place. The iodine reacts with the sulfur trioxide and sulfuric acid to form the iodine cation, hydrogen sulfate and sulfur dioxide where the iodine cation has a blue greenish color. When more iodine is added, the color is difficult to observe but can be seen very easily by heating the mixture until sulfur trioxide and iodine begin to condense above the solution. The iodine cation is also used to halogenate less reactive aromatic compounds like benzene, which would not be possible with iodine itself. This was the reaction between iodine and oleum. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to know how I prepared the sulfur trioxide, you can watch my video about it here, or you can watch my latest video here.